Okay, uh, welcome back to uh, another episode of Minecraft. Um, I thought we would take a bit of a break this week and uh, take go a little easier. I thought uh, thought I would take a page out of uh, Zisto's book here and actually build a to-do list, a nice big uh, board there, so that we can uh, kind of keep track of what we're uh, planning to build, what what's not finished, what we uh, want to get working on in the uh, near term. So uh, I think what we're going to do is take uh, take these fence bits here and uh, just put a uh, board right about here where I can throw up some signs and uh, build us a uh, bulletin board. Obviously this is going to have to move at some point, but uh, let's be honest, most of this stuff ends up being temporary anyway. So, uh, let's see, I don't know how big I need to make this, I'll just put a good height on it now. Is that enough? Eh, let's do one more, let's be ambitious. Yeah, I should do it. Do that. Okay. Ah. Yeah, I'm good at doing that. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, it's a little ugly, but it'll work. So let's get ourselves some signs here. Let's have, uh, let's see. If we leave a couple rows for uh, each area. So over here, let's have, uh, let's have a layer section just for the, uh, now let's move that down a bit, shall we? Uh, have a bit for the layer. Good enough. Um, let's have a bit for, uh, town. That'll do. And then over here I'll just have one for, uh, miscellaneous stuff. There. Totally uncentered. Looks horrible. I'm good at that, aren't I? <laughs> let's move that over a bit. Come on, select that. Thank you. I swear, the game likes to fight me in little ways. And we'll move you over to the center. Oops. There. I keep the keyboard on my lap while I'm recording this, which, uh, you know, helps cut down on the amount of keyboard noise you guys are hearing, but uh, it also makes it a little more difficult to type. So, uh, you know. Oh, fine, I'll move that over too. It's bugging me. It's always the little things that bug me. All right, so um, what kind of stuff do I want to do here? Um, first of all, I think the lair is going to need uh, the entry hall done over a bit. So uh, redo entry hall. Um, I don't know, the, the brown accent there and... Uh, the walkways have become a little bit uh, redundant with the way I've uh, done the branching rooms there. They just aren't necessary. Uh, so I'll probably get rid of those. And um, I don't know how I'm going to reshape it, but uh, obviously I'm kind of constricted to the uh, amount of space we've already dug out. So uh, I don't know how I'm going to change the appearance of it. I intend to leave the floor pretty much intact. I might do a little bit of change here if I think I can find something interesting, but uh, most of it will stay put. I may get rid of that block the Enderman left me at some point, but for the moment it still amuses me, so it's staying there. Um, yeah, if we get rid of the uh, walkways, we can also do a, uh, a better ceiling here, because it just kind of interferes with the, uh, the fact that it doesn't uh, stretch from one end of the room to the other. It just kind of makes doing a ceiling a little bit weird for me, so uh, we'll do a better ceiling. That being said, we are also going to need to do uh, more ceilings. Ceilings. Yes? Good enough. Um, I'm getting into a bad habit of not finishing my ceilings. Um, we haven't done really anything in here except patch the holes. Um, this one we've got somewhat of a, a ceiling. It could use a little more detail, to be honest, but... Um, 
I don't mind it so much. It's not bad. It's, uh, y you know, you don't spend a lot of time staring at the ceiling. This one is reasonable. I should probably replace that smooth stone in the middle with something else, but, uh, it's, it's fine for now. I'm not going to worry too much about it. How often do I uh, end up spending time in there anyway? This definitely needs work. Uh, <laughs> I haven't even patched the holes in it yet, so uh, that is definitely an issue we need to deal with. I have a few ideas for this, but I uh, haven't really pinned any of them down yet, so that's that. Um, let's see. I would like to do a uh, subway entrance. And uh, I think that's going to end up going right down there, just under the, under here, because I think the um, the subway, if you remember, it's going under the main road out there, so it's going to come down behind those stairs, probably come through down here, so I may have to redo the area in there, and just straight across under here, so it'll enter the, the lair right about there. So more than likely, when it comes time to do that, I will punch a staircase right about here, like I did there and uh, put the room in there and uh, that will also give me a quicker way to uh, get out of the lair when I want to just hop a minecart and head out into the town there somewhere um, let's see I need an alchemy area um, I'll probably end up putting it in here um, I haven't really decided because I'm not sure how I want to change this at all. I like that kind of dark shadowy effect it's got down there. Uh, so I don't really want to add anything else into that area to break that up. Um, I could uh, put something higher up. Uh, I don't really want to do that. I guess I could put like a little nook in one of these little side, side areas here. Just punch out that wall there and put a little alchemy area in there. That's not the worst idea. Um, due to the glass here, I can't really, uh, use pistons to, uh, make a secret passage. It wouldn't, uh, wouldn't look very good, I don't think. But, uh, anyway. What else do I want to do? Um, I would like to, uh, do a main hall. But, oops. No, go here. Ah. This thing is just, uh, messing with me, this keyboard. And that is going to go behind here. Um, that will be a very, very big room. Um, it'll probably make this room look like a closet. So that's going to be very uh, gunpowder dependent. I'm going to have to just leave that until I can stash away enough gunpowder to uh, <clears throat> make a massive hole in the uh, mountainside here. So uh, I will probably use that room to uh, have uh, animal pens and... Um, I should probably put that on here. Animal pens. Oops. There we go. Um, it'll be a big open kind of room. I probably have a lot of uh, walkways floating across the middle of it there just to uh, make it look a little more interesting and whatnot. That's, well, at least that's my thinking at the moment. So uh, we will see how that goes. Um, I should also have uh, farms in there at some point, just so I have a food supply here within the base, aside from the uh, animal pens. Um, I just always like being a little bit redundant, so, uh, you know, just, uh, let's see. Okay. As for the town, because I think that's enough to keep us busy on the uh, lair for a very long time. Um see I would like to uh, obviously replace most of the roads um, the villagers are all let's go up up top for a sec here the villagers are all using those little gravel uh, paths there and I hate those so uh, we are going to replace those with uh, the roadway I've started building up here let's have a sword ready just in case there's something here I need to know about um, yeah so we're going to do something like this through most of the town. It may not always have this underneath it, but uh, you know, it, it does look nicer this way. Go away, I'm busy. 
Um, as you can see, I'm continuing my efforts to uh, grassify the village area. Yes, that's a new word I'm going to use, grassify. The grassification of the, uh, the town here is proceeding. Uh, the grass is actually spreading pretty well. Um, I've had to demolish a small hill off in that direction. Um, actually, while I was demolishing that hill, I just ended up falling into a cave that was hidden underneath it, but uh, landed next to a very startled creeper. So, uh, got some nice gunpowder out of that. Aha, uh -huh. suck it. Just one? No, I guess I, yeah, I wasn't using my loot sword. Uh, I forget how wonderful that loot sword is sometimes. So anyway, yeah, we will extend this road and we will use something like that for uh, most of the uh, town. So let's see, let's get back down here. I should probably sleep and make it daytime. So we don't get uh, jumped by some random monster. Get some creeper drop on us again. Um, that being said, I, I haven't had many... Uh, many monsters actually spawning within the lair recently, so I think we're uh, doing pretty well in that regard. Um, I have had one or two things spawn in here, but uh, I've, I've uh, tossed down a couple of torches underneath the stairwells, and I think, think that has uh, solved the problem, I'm not sure. But I really, really do not want to get jumped by another creeper in my inventory room, because that gets old very quickly. Um, I have seen a creeper spawn down here, um, and I guess that's to be expected, because I keep that room fairly dark. The wood here is uh, is all slabs, so that's not really something I have to worry about, but uh, these stone steps will probably uh, spawn creatures. Cre creatures spawn on steps? I'm not entirely certain if they can or not. I'm not sure if they'll spawn on glowstone. I assume they would. Or I guess just right on top of the bookshelf if there's room, but... Uh, Eh, I guess they won't spawn on glowstone, will they? Because it's uh, glowing. <laughs> yeah, I sure thought of that. I know. A little absent-minded at the moment. I haven't had enough root beer yet this morning. So, uh, where were we? Um, roads, right. Um, that being said, we're also going to want to uh, continue the uh, subway out there. I don't know um, how I'm going to... Uh, connect the different areas of town with that subway, whether I'll have multiple uh, rail lines underneath the road there, or just, uh, you know, carve uh, different heights, different levels to it, and just have multiple ones running over top of each other, or whether I'll just have uh, intersections where you can change the direction you're going to go. Um, I guess I'll kind of figure that out as I get to it. Um, so anyway, let's see. Um... I would like to do some kind of a uh, map room. Uh, I would like to take those two maps that are over on the far side of town there and put them in some kind of uh, central location. I'm going to run back up here again. So, um, yeah, I want to have the, uh, the map there. I would like to have a little chest near the map so that I can have copies of it just in case, uh, just in case I need them for anything. Well, we got a tree there now. It's nice. Kind of an ugly tree, but uh, what the hell. Um, so I will probably put that round about there somewhere. I think uh, I don't want to really extend town much more in that direction. Really? You want some? Come get it. I dare you. Tell you what, I'll come to you. You want it? You baby, get over here. Didn't kill him. All right, be that way. That's not him. Okay. Anyway, yeah, I don't want to extend too far out into the desert. I don't want to convert the entire desert to grass, and I kind of want to leave some of the biome there. I also uh, go away. I'm busy. Do you really? You see that guy just spawn right here, right next to me. Go away. Thank you. Um. I'm a little concerned about the peasant maker over there. Um, as I kind of extend town, um, I might uh, obviously cut down on the number of spawns out here, which would... Uh, oh, hey, look, a villager. Um, how would you like to be turned into a peasant? 
<laughs> Come on, we're going this way. Uh, I don't really need another peasant at this particular moment, but um, why not, being that we're on the subject? Come on. I don't even know if I have the uh, golden apples down there to uh, to cure him at the moment. Come on, hurry up. Where are you? Come on. Hi. Ah. <laughs> uh, I haven't used this thing in ages. Okay, let's see. Whoops. Now let's use uh, the button. There we go. So, let's see. I'm gonna have to uh, separate those two out. Do I have a golden apple? I have gold and I have an apple. Awesome. Okay. Do this. Do that. Apple. Potion. Potion of weakness. Awesome. Alright, let's see. Alright. Oops, that was a bad shot. There we go. <laughs> I don't want both of them. Wow, take your time about it. You know, just lounge around in the pool. Don't mind me. Uh, I sometimes think that uh, pool of water is a bit of a mistake. It just takes them so long to get out of there, but uh, I don't want to be doing falling damage to them. Come on. You can do it. You can make it. Just think, you may have a future as a farmer. Or a fisherman. Isn't that exciting? Okay. Come on. Come on. Ooh. Probably, <laughs> probably came close to not making that. Alright, let's see. Potion in your face. And golden apple. You. There we go. Shut the window on you. And you, I can't get to at the moment, so you get to just sit there and play in the pool. <laughs> Alright, um, okay, I will speed this up and uh, we will get back to the uh, planning in a minute. Well, that took long enough. What do we got here? Weaponsmith. We may already have one of those. Would you like to come out of there? If you haven't noticed, yeah, I changed the villager sound a few episodes back. I was getting a little uh, tired of the other one. So, uh, I'm back to the default villager. Hmm. That's what I said, yeah. Hmm. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. You. The door is the other way. Get out. Get out. Go play with your friends. Make little villagers. Go on. Get out. 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 I hate you. Just so you know that. Get out! No, he's gonna ignore me. That's fine. I'm gonna leave him. Because I don't care. Anyway. Back to what we were doing. Yeah, I hate these gravel paths. Um, so yeah, I will probably put maps out here in some kind of uh, little uh, town square type structure right about here, generally. Um... That should be a nice kind of focal point, and uh, maybe I will um, put like a beacon there, shining right up through the center of that building. That way you follow the beacon, and the first thing you find are maps to the area, which would be rather useful. Um, which means I have to fight a wither. But I have three wither skulls uh, in my inventory somewhere, so uh, never actually fought one before, so I will probably get brutally massacred when it happens, but uh, what the hell. At least that would be entertaining to watch, right? Um, I have to demolish more of this sandstone mountain here, so I should put that on the list. Um, yeah. Because I do want to extend the town a little more in that direction. I suppose I could uh, extend more that way. Towards the, uh, the chasm there. Um, I hadn't originally planned to build the town over around this area, but it might be able to do something with that. I'm not sure yet. That'll take a little more uh, thinking. Really? You call that a tree? That's pathetic. Uh, that's kind of a waste, but anyway, I'll chop that down in a, little, in a minute or two. Let's go back down here. 
Uh, I do need to redo that area down there. That was just kind of a quick throw together just because uh, I think I was running out of time back when I did that. But, uh, most of the stuff I do tends to be temporary anyway. So let's see. Um, what was I saying? Demolish Mountain. There we go. Um, what else? Map room. So I guess, yeah, town center of some kind. So that will uh, be all right. Um, uh, there's probably stuff I'm not thinking of. We should probably do a more permanent wall for the uh, town too, instead of that wooden fence, but uh, it's okay for the moment. Actually, for the lair, we've got, got space here, hang on. I want to find a uh, spot for my portal, because I don't want to have to go out to town. I would like to have one in here somewhere, so I think that'll be a good thing. Um, I would like to have a uh, proper tree farm at some point. Farm, thank you. Um, just to kind of hopefully... Uh, keep a good supply of wood and to uh, have one that looks a little nicer. I know I have some uh, trees out that way. Uh, I have probably almost half a dozen big uh, jungle trees, but uh, every once in a while it decides to uh, only give me one or two saplings when I cut one down. So uh, I really try to keep expanding as many of those as I can. I don't want to have to venture back out to the jungle anytime soon. Um, let's see. I would like to do a... Uh, a mob farm. Um, I did kind of a quick and dirty one ways off in that direction just to uh, keep it away from town because it was a really crappy build. It was just cobbled together out of uh, dirt and gravel and whatever else I found at the time and uh, it's not terribly effective. Probably partly because directly um, underneath where I built it there is the most massive cave network I have ever seen. So um I torched as much as I could of it, but um, it's just, it's massive. And there's a couple of ravines down there and just, oh man, I don't know if I'll ever get around to fixing that. But anyway, um, let's see. I want to work on a nether hub at some point, just so I can have outposts in different areas of the, uh, the land and be able to get there a little more quickly. Um, I don't know when I'll get to building that because it's uh, not something I need right away. I'm still expanding the uh, the lair in the town, so I don't really need to travel too far at the moment. Unless I need something like jungle wood. Um, I would like to make a, a an XP grinder at some point. I don't have a lot of experience making these. So uh, I'm not sure what the best creature to use is, or uh, the best layout for them. I would probably have to look that up a little bit. Um, I found a couple of uh, spider spawners when I was uh, adventuring somewhere in the last uh, little while. Um, they were the cave spiders though, so I think that would be kind of a pain to make an experience grinder out of. Um, I hear you can do uh, endermen. In, uh, in the end there, they make for a good grinder. I don't know. I would have to look into that, I guess. So, uh, that is something I will have to think about. Um, is there anything else I need to uh, put on this list? It's getting pretty solid there. That's, uh, <laughs> that's going to be a lot of work, let's be fair. Um, that'll keep us going for quite a while, and uh, some of it will probably end up getting renovated along the way as well. But uh, anyway, that's the current plan. So uh, that pretty much puts us out of time for this episode too, actually. That uh, took longer than I thought. I was actually planning to just putter around out there and finish off some more stuff to do with uh, the town and the area. But uh, we have already run out of time. So uh, anyway, that is what we're up to. That is what we're planning to do. So um hope you enjoyed that sneak peek. And... Uh, we will get started on something from the list next time.